I'd like to introduce you to Candy. This is my latest Les Paul. It's a rare 1956 reissue and it's called a bullion top. And what they do is they take the gold top and they put red lacquer over it. So it's hard to tell I'm sure from the movie but this has gold a gold top underneath so it's sparkly but yet not real sparkly as a normal guitar would be because it has the um, brass fillings that they put in the lacquer and red over the top so it's kind of uh, unique and rare and it happens to be a 2006 model so it is a 50th anniversary so I'm really glad I found this and um, We'll do a song in honor of her. This song starts out with some massive drums. Um, it's the kind of song that I think that makes the hairs of my arms stand up and is just a great rock and roll song. One of my favorite Montrose Sammy Hagar songs. So the intro goes like this. We're going to start out with the open sixth string and then we're going to hit the third fret of the sixth string and pull it down and strike two on the fourth string. And then we go open to 3-4 on the 6th string. And then it's almost like a passing note. He hits the 5th string at the 2nd fret to the 4th string at the 2nd fret. It's just a real quick... It gets you there and uh, it's, it's really just a passing note. So there's a little bit of palm muting there and you let off when you hit the fourth string. And then you do the first half again and then it's D, A. And then you repeat the whole riff. And he <coughs> kind of slides down with your with your hand and slide back up rather than a pick slide. <coughs> so the intro, there's four of those, and after the second one is when he does the slide. And every other one just goes with the drums. What he does in the verses is he's hitting the sixth string twice, letting that ring, and then he's upstroking on the uh, top two strings, on the E and B string. And you let that ring. And a lot of these licks um, consider this. Consider that to be the main thread. And there's licks in between that. So the first lick is a slide from two to four on the third string, and then you hit three on the second, and 
in five. So it goes like this. Then the next lick, open to three on the sixth string, then open one, two on the fifth, to open on the fourth. So what we have so far, the next lick, okay so we're sliding two to four again on that third string, then we're going to strike the three on the second and then open on the first string. Then we come to the third string and do a two pulled off to open to the fourth string, two pulled off to open. Then you're back to the common thread. Then this part is a pull off from four, fourth string, second fret, two to open, fifth string, two to open, and then you what he's kind of doing, it sounds like to me, he's, he's, I think he strikes four and slides into three really quick, like a mistake. But, but it's in there a couple times, so um, if you listen to it, you might hear that. Or I could be full of it. So the next one, we're sliding two to four again, hitting three on the second string. We'll hit five and slide that up to seven. And just give it some vibrato. Okay, we're back to the common thread. We know that one. So on this next lick, he doesn't hit the open E like we did one time, we just stop at the three on the second string. So we're sliding from two to four. And then we come back and hit two on the third string and pull it off to open, and two on the fourth string and pull it off to open. And again, this is the very last lick, and rather than pull off the second um, part on the fifth string, he's actually playing the notes. So that lick goes like this. And he does this throughout the song. So we pull off on the fourth string from two to open. Then we hit two, one, open on the fifth string to three on the sixth. And then we're into the chorus. Okay, here's the chorus at speed and then I'll slow it down. Course, what we're doing there is we hit A twice and we're going to add this suspended and we're going to kind of pedal note between that open A on the fifth string and we're going to take this up to the fifth fret and we're going to hit the second string fifth fret fourth string fifth fret and you want to keep your first finger still there so it's quite a stretch and you're still pedaling that A. And then we 
go back to that other chord to suspend it. Or I think they also call it D over A. So again, here we go. So if you find that too difficult, you can use your middle finger on the second uh, string, third fret, and then use your small finger over the top two strings um, at the fifth fret. So it'll sound like this. And it pulls that sixth string at the third fret. To open. So we'll do the chorus beginning real slow. Now we're doing a unison bend for this. We're up at the 12th fret, first string, 15th fret on the second string, and we're going to bend that second string up. Then we hit the E twice, then once, twice, then he's back into the chorus. Play it and hear what it sounds like. going to do a unison bend here the second time through on 2nd string 7th fret, 3rd string ninth fret and you hit those again till and stretch at 9 up. Then we're going to go down and do 3 on the 2nd and 5 on the 3rd um, to 4 on the 3rd and 2 on the 2nd and then the last little lick he stretches up that second fret of the third string and releases it to open and you're back into the opening leg so I'll take the lead I'll take the uh, chorus from the second part Now after that part we come into the uh, intro lick again and it's he adds a couple things so I'll show you what he's doing there. So for that second intro, he's doing a unison bend. We're starting out on the second string at the second fret and the third string at the fourth fret. And then we just slide it up. We're not really striking it again. Slide it up, stop at five, bend it up, and then move the whole thing up to 12. Bend. Then hit your D A. Then the second time he hits the third string at the fourth fret, bends it up, and then hits it three times and releases it. And while he's releasing it, you hear the uh, chords going. So as you release it, just come into the E. Because the tr second track guitar does the D A. And 
and then you back into another uh, three measures of licks. Um, the first one we're going to do, uh, you know this one, we're going to slide. <laughs> know this one. So the third lick is a unison bend again from seven on the second string, nine on the third. Move it down, five on the second, second, seven on the third. You know that one. This one's a little bit different. We're going to slide from two to four, and then we're going to hit three, three on the second and first string, respectively. Then we hit five on the second string. Hold that just for a little second, and then do a roll from four to two to open on the third string. It's almost like a passing. come up to this one. So this next lick, we're going to slide two to four again on the third string, hit three to five on the second, and then we're going to do a pull off from four to two to open on the third, and then a pull off from two to open on the fourth string. And then your thread, then your thread, and then this time we're going to hit a unison bend, but it's only going to be on the seven, second string, nine on the third. Then we're back to the thread. You know that one. You know that one. The next one, we're doing unison bend seven, and then we're going to slide it up to 12. And same thing, we're not. We're not striking it again. And you know this last lick that takes you back to the chorus. First one is the same, second one's a little different. Okay, so what he's doing there, unison bend again, second string five, third string seven. Then we come up to the second fret of the third string. Do a bend and a release to open, and then do it again. And then another unison bend, at five, seven on the. Okay, so here's the lead at speed, and then we'll slow it down.
again. <laughs> first little part of the lick. Now the next kind of continues on that theme. So we'll do that again. part again so that fairly simple then we come up to some unison bends we're gonna go I'll just tell you these are on the second and third string we're gonna go from 9, 10, 12, 14 on the second and third strings respectively. So the next part of that lick goes like this. Again, slow. And then we're just at 12 uh, holding the fourth, third, and second string. Next we're doing octaves. So we're on the 5th string, 2nd fret, and the 3rd string at the 4th fret. And we hold that position and go from 2 to 4 to 5. Then we come down, uh, move everything down a string. You're down now onto the 4th string, but you have to use, because to get an octave you have to go up a fret to get that E, so we're on the second string now at the fifth fret. So you're kind of holding that space from two to four to five. And you, you're, you're muting the first part, you're muting that fourth string. And then the second part, you're muting the third string. If you find those others too difficult, you could just move it up because that's E, that's F sharp, and that's G. So you could do it up on the higher frets. Okay, we're back into the chorus. You know that, I'm going to spare you that, but what they do for the last chorus and the licks goes like this. Okay, so he's doing that, he's keeping that second string open and he's bending up that third string at the second fret, which is a difficult bend. You might want to use a finger to help it bend up. Okay, so that's the first lick. Then they're back into the chorus part. And then this next lick is like this. So we're doing unison bends again. He really likes them in this song. We're going 15, 13, 12. Come back to 10, 
to 12, and then 15 to 14. Okay, you know that. Now the next lick is that two bent up again. This very last lick is very difficult to hear because he's got two guitars overdubbing each other. So I just kind of made something up that I thought sounded pretty cool. It was a neat little lick in the E pentatonic, um, minor pen E minor pentatonic. So what we're doing here is I'm bending two twice on the third string. That sounds right to me. Then I'm just sliding two to four. Then I go three five three five on the second to first string. Then I slide up to seven. Hit five again on that first string. So what we have so far is this. Then I go eight to five on the second um, string, and then I hammer on eight to five. So it sounds like this. And do seven on the third string to five. So all together it's this, what I'm doing. the song we're in the uh, intro again for about one and a half <laughs> fret of the sixth string. Come to E. We're just hitting 14 and keeping 15 on the second. Hope you guys enjoy.